I'm here today with Hall of Fame coach Rick Macy um, and we've been talking about the new movie King Richard uh, which came out at the end of November um, and Rick you, you have or your character plays a major part in that movie as your as you played a major part in their development when they were children um, now I know for a fact you've received thousands of emails and texts and comments on on videos and, and online and one of the major questions, or one of the big questions, is um, why? Why in the world did you fund um, this 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 project with the girls? What was it that you saw in Venus and Serena that that made you take that extra step for the girls? First off, uh, <laughs> a great question because I have gotten hundreds and hundreds of text messages, emails, phone calls, obviously people in person, like, and a lot of people would want me to do that for their kids or, you know, they might have the next whatever. Um, you know, it's just when I visited Compton and, you know, I met Venus, Serena, Richard, Norseen, okay, there was, I don't know, there was like a connection right off the bat. So, and I felt very comfortable with the entire family right off the bat, even before they hit a tennis ball. So, you know, and I never really thought about this until people have started asking me about it because I just go, you know, I don't really think about it. If I'm into something, I just go. And so once we got on the court and I eventually saw, you know, uh, what I saw, the speed, the quickness, the potential, the size, you know, you got the next Michael Jordan. No, brother, man, I got the next two, uh, which went around the world, that quote, and that's in the movie, and that's an actual thing that happened. And, you know, once I just saw what was inside these two little kids, I knew that I could maybe be part of something that could not only have the two best players in the world, uh, but transcend the sport. Because in the early 90s, if you were big and strong, you weren't nimble. And these kids were just like, <laughs> move like Batman and Spider-Man. I mean, this was crazy what I was seeing. So just what I saw with their potential and how they were as little kids, you know, polite, considerate. And even though Richard was a you know, stubborn guy and knew what he wanted, I liked that, you know, because we were cut from the same cloth in that way because he got it, he got it. And I knew how protective he was. I knew it was gonna be a, a very difficult thing if they wanted me to coach him, because he, he could be a handful. But one of the arts of coaching is, not only do I coach the kids, I coach the parents. So uh, maybe I should be in the Hall of Fame just for dealing with Richard for four years, but no, he was my best friend. And so to really answer the question, um, I knew it wasn't gonna be just my time and the hitting partners and whatever athletic enhancement I put into this, because they, they were already Jordan-like qualities, okay? I wanted to make it, I wanted to take it further with the Taekwondo, the boxing, the, the ballet, um, you know, throwing the football, the medicine balls, the weight training. Uh, I wanted to take this over the rainbow because I thought this could be so special. And so I just, from that point of view, you gotta understand, if you're a coach, you like challenges. Oh, well, that's, at least I do. And I was so motivated because they weren't accomplished. Even though Venus won a lot of 10 under matches in Southern Cal, they were both two pieces of clay. And to that point, uh, Richard started to put Humpty Dumpty together. He did a lot of things that I really liked, but I liked that he was a visionary and cutting edge. He had a lot of open stance and, he wasn't textbook country club, and, but they were athletic and they had to be trained differently. And one of my famous sayings is there's not a wrong way or a right way, there's a better way. Maybe I should say the Williams way, but no, it, it was, so this as a coach, I love the challenges. It's just like someone wins a national championship, like maybe I did with Jennifer, and then you wanna find greener grass to see if you can do it again. I, it was a challenge and it was no more than that. But then when we got into what all it entailed. It wasn't just my time, which is the wild card with any player, if I spend that much time putting something together. The financial commitment, you know, with 
the $54,000 salary and the $92,000 motor home and the condo or house at Greenleaf and the health, in health insurance. And I could go on and on with the financial part. It didn't matter whether it was 50,000, 500,000 or a million dollars. It didn't matter to me because I knew where this could go. And I wasn't gonna stop until it happened. Whether it took four years, eight years, it, it didn't matter. And this is hard for other people to understand because when you love something, you do, and you love the people you're working with, and you believe in it. Like my own kids, I just, I wasn't gonna be denied. Um, and that's one of the qualities I think that makes me kind of who I am. Uh, when I'm on to something, I just try to be relentless and I was gonna will it to happen, but it was a lot easier to make it happen when I saw what I had. If I didn't see that package, all right, obviously that's why I took the chance or the gamble. And many people say, well, why don't you do that with my kids? Listen, if I ever saw something like I saw in just one in Venus or one Serena, we might have that conversation. But, but you know, I, I, I did it because of those reasons and it's, you know, one of my greatest gifts is evaluating talent. It's like everything in life is in the eye of the beholder. Like I tell people what you may see is different than Rick may see. So it, it's a very different, it's hard for people to understand. And, you know, even I knew having to put up with Richard was going to be a challenge. He, he, was, he was the nicest guy ever because his heart was in the right place. Because he was just an amazing father the way... He interacted with those kids. I could tell where this was going way before they selected me as a coach. And I knew it was going to be controversial. And, you know, when I started saying, she's going to be better than Capriati, or she could be number one in the world, Venus, and her little sister might be better. I knew I wasn't going to be the flavor of the month. None of that mattered. But I took on the project because of what I felt and what I saw, and more importantly, my belief in myself to make it happen.